the students, my name is uh, uh, Samson, aka uh, Igwe. If today is your first time of coming across this channel, you can hit the subscription button and also the bell beside it for more updates and uh, upcoming videos. Thanks. Uh, today we'll be looking at the factors uh, affecting the rate of reaction. There are so many factors that can affect the rate of reaction. One of it is temperature. We also have concentration. Pressure. Surface area. Catalysts. Lights. So these are the factors that can affect the rate of reaction. That is the factors that can make a reaction either to be very fast or to be very slow. That is what we are looking at. Number one is temperature. An increase in temperature leads to increase in the rate of uh, chemical reaction. In other words, once the temperature is high, the rate of the reaction will also be high. The reason is because when you increase temperature, the average kinetic energy of the reactant particles will also increase. And when the average kinetic energy of the reactant particle increases, the rate of collision will also increase, thereby leading to more product uh, formation at a shorter period of uh, time. And also, when you increase the temperature, you are uh, breaking the bonds. The bonds become weak. And once the bonds are weak, the reactant can easily combine together to form a product. So increase in temperature will lead to an increase in the rate of a chemical reaction. That is why if somebody is cooking and the person the, the person lowers the stove is using to cook, it will take a longer time for that food to be done than somebody that uh, tunes the stove to the highest point. Once the temperature is increasing, the bond will become weak and uh, they are now free to combine with the reactant are now free to combine with each other to form a product. So generally, increase in temperature leads to increase in the rate of reaction. It was found experimentally that at every 10 degree rise in temperature, the rate of reaction becomes double. That means if the rate of reaction is uh, 2 at 10 degrees Celsius, once the temperature is increased to 20 degrees Celsius, the rate of reaction becomes doubled. So that was an experimental determined uh, value that once you are increasing the temperature, you are increasing the rate of the reaction. The next is a uh, concentration. Concentration is talking about the number of uh, reactant particles that are present, the number of reactants that are actually colliding to form a product. You know, when the reactant concentration is high, it means that the reactants are closer to each other and they can easily collide to form a product. Let's take for instance, the concentration here is higher than the concentration at this point. This is case A, this is uh, case B. The concentration here is high, but the concentration here is low. Concentration is talking about the number of the reactant particles that are there. Since the concentration here is high, the reactants are closer to each other, and we said that for a reaction to take place, there must be collision between the reactants before a product can be formed. Now, since the reactants are closer to each other, they can easily collide to form a product faster than these ones that are far apart. The distance between the reactants is uh, large compared to this one because the concentration here is low. This is like a dilute solution because it contains few number of uh, uh, solutes. But this one now, the reactant particles or the solute there is high. Because of that, the reactants are closer to each other. They can easily collide to form a product. In other words, once the concentration increases, the rate of reaction increases. Concentration increases, rate of reaction will also increase. And the reason is simple. The when the concentration is high, the reactants are closer to each other so they can easily collide and form a product. But when the concentration is low, the reactants are far apart from each other and uh, the rate of collision will be decreased. 
The next is pressure. When we are talking about pressure, specifically pressure have to do with uh, gases, uh, because pressure have negligible effect on solid and uh, liquid. So when we are talking about the effect of pressure in the rate of reaction, we consider whether the reaction is uh, solid, liquid, or gas. If the reaction is solid or uh, liquid, pressure doesn't have uh, much effect on it. But when the reaction is a gaseous reaction, the effect of pressure can easily be felt. Now, when you increase the pressure for a gaseous reaction, the rate of the reaction will increase. Because increase in pressure, you are subjecting a high force per unit area. In that case, you are compressing the reactant particles to be closer to each other. And when the reactants are compressed, they can easily collide with each other and uh, form a product. In other words, increase in pressure leads to increase in the rate of uh, chemical reaction. The next is uh, surface area. When we are talking about surface area, we are talking about the space available for the reactant particles to react. Like uh, if somebody is uh, dissolving a cube of sugar in a particular volume of water, maybe we have uh, 20 ml of water, 20 ml of water. I'm dissolving a cube of sugar in this ml of water, and another person is also dissolving powdered sugar powdered sugar. This one is a cube of sugar. The cube of sugar now will take a longer time before it will dissolve than the powdered sugar. The reason is because the powdered sugar now has more surface area. The surface area of the powdered sugar is higher than the surface area of the cube of sugar. In, in that case, the powdered sugar will dissolve faster than when you have a cube of uh, sugar. Another effect of the surface area is that when the surface area is increased, the bond between the reactant is already weak. And when the bond is weak, the reactants are free to collide with each other to form a product. But when we have a cubic sugar or even cubic maggi, when you are cooking and you put a maggi, a cube of maggi inside the pot, you discover that the maggi may not dissolve very well. But when you uh, press the maggi and the maggi uh, is in a, a crystalline form, or the, the, is in powdered form, the maggi can easily dissolve because the surface area has been increased. Another uh, example you can have on this is uh, the issue of a reaction between a, a calcium trouser carbonate and the HCl. When calcium trouser carbonate, which is limestone, reacts with a HCl, the reaction can either be fast or slow, depending on the nature of the calcium trouser carbonate. When we have a powdered calcium trouser carbonate, which is limestone, the reaction uh, between it and the HCl will be fast. But when the, the limestone is in lumps, we, we, the, the limestone is in lumps, the reaction will be slow. The reason is because the lump of limestone doesn't have a much surface area compared to the powdered uh, limestone. See the chemical equation for the reaction. So in this case, now if you look at this reaction, you discover that uh, the nature of the calcium trisocarbonate plays an important role in the rate of the reaction. When we have a powdered limestone, the reaction will be very fast. But when we have the same reaction, but the limestone is in lumps, the reaction will be slow. So surface area plays an important role in determining whether a reaction will be fast or slow. When the surface area is high, the rate of the reaction will be high. That means a fast reaction. But when the surface area is low, the rate of the reaction will go down. That is a slow reaction. So surface area is an important factor when we are deciding whether a reaction will be very fast or low. Generally, increase in surface area leads to increase in the rate of reaction. It means that when surface area increases, rate of reaction will also increase. When surface area decreases, rate of reaction will decrease. The next is a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that alters the rate of uh, chemical reaction and remains chemically and quantitatively unchanged at the end of the reaction. So the presence of a catalyst, uh, mainly positive catalyst, helps to increase the rate of uh, reaction. But the presence of a negative catalyst can slow down the rate of a reaction. So the action of a catalyst is to alter the rate of the reaction. It can speed it up, it can also slow it down, depending on the nature of the catalyst. If it's a positive catalyst, the rate of the reaction will be increased. 
But if it's a negative catalyst that you add, the rate of the reaction will decrease. And the action of a positive catalyst is to lower the activation energy of the reaction. So whenever you add a catalyst to a reaction, the work of the catalyst is to lower the activation energy of the reaction. And once the activation energy is lower, the rate of the reaction will increase. Next is uh, lights. There are some reactions that cannot occur in the dark. Such a reaction, there must be presence of sunlight before the reaction can take place. And such a reaction is called a photochemical reaction. Photochemical reaction. A photochemical reaction simply means a reaction that requires light before it can occur. In other words, when there is no light, such reaction cannot take place. Example of that reaction is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis cannot occur in the absence of light. Light must be present because of that photosynthesis is a photochemical reaction. Another example is the chlorination of uh, methane. When methane uh, undergoes chlorination reaction, sunlight or UV light must be present so that the product can be formed. That is one major difference between arcane and uh, arcane. Because arcane, when they are reacting with the halogen, such as chlorine, sunlight must be present before the reaction can be uh, accomplished. But in, in terms of arcane, double bond, and arcane, triple bond, those ones can react with uh, chlorine in the absence of uh, light. The reaction we are talking about is the CH4 plus chlorine. This reaction requires the presence of light. It will be a UV light before a product can be formed. And this is a substitution reaction. So the reaction will continue until the whole of uh, hydrogen has been replaced. This is chlorination of uh, methane. This reaction requires an initiator, and the initiator is the sunlight. When there is no sunlight, this reaction cannot occur. But if it is something like a key, Akin, unsaturated hydrocarbon, because there's a presence of pi bond and the sigma bond. Due to the presence of the pi bond, the pi bond is a weaker bond, it can easily be broken. Then chlorine can combine with it, then you have a 1 2 dichloroethene. 1 2 dichloroethene. That is this compound. 1 2 dichloroethene. This is an addition reaction, but this one is a substitution reaction. Arcane, since they are saturated, they basically undergo substitution reaction, but the arcane, due to their degree of unsaturation, they undergo addition reaction. And addition reaction simply means you are getting one product, but in substitution reaction, you are replacing an, an atom with another atom. There was four hydrogen here, and you are replacing one of the hydrogen with the chlorine. That is why you are now having three hydrogen and one chlorine. That hydrogen that is replaced have combined with the remaining chlorine here to give HCl. So if you come to the second stage of the reaction, we started with hydrogen 3. And when one of the chlorine replaced one of the hydrogen, hydrogen will now remain 2. Then the second chlorine that have come now will make this thing to be 2. The hydrogen will combine with the other chlorine. So we start with this again. It's a chain reaction until all the hydrogen has been replaced. If you look at this, this we started with four hydrogen, three hydrogen, two hydrogen, one hydrogen, no hydrogen again. So there is a complete uh, replacement or displacement of the hydrogen atom by the chlorine atom. And this reaction can only be possible in the presence of uh, sunlight. Because when there is no sunlight, you can't have this reaction. But when you come to olefins, that is the akin or the akine, those ones can easily react even in the absence of uh, sunlight. That is one of the major difference between akin, akin, and uh, akine. Thank you. Remember to hit the subscription button and also the bell beside it for more upload of uh, various videos that will be coming. Thank you so much.